Welcome to another episode of Country Fixing, and today we're fixing to show y'all how to clean your BCG, your bolt carrier group, for AR-15 or AR-10. I think they're exactly the same, just different sizes. Uh, and the cleaning kit I use, it's nothing special, but show y'all the parts I know. And first thing would be disassembling it. And some people may dis try to disassemble it different ways. I don't know, but the way I do it is take this little pin out first. Sometimes you gotta have a sharp object to stick in there. It shouldn't be hard to get out. Take this pin out first. And then you can drop your firing pin out. As you can see last week I shot it pretty good, so it's pretty dirty. Then uh, twist this part, this little re rectangular shape pin in there. The firing pin goes down through there and into that, and you can't twist it until, until you uh, take your firing pin out. Take that out. Take that out. And that's as far as most people take it. But I try to go a little further. Your extractor's right there. And I'll take and take this little pin out. You can use this pin to push this pin out. They're the same diameter, so that one there just slides in and out. I take my extractor out. But when you take this out, be careful because you got a little spring right there. And you can lose that spring and it'll never extract again until you put another spring in. That's the way I take it apart. And keep little cleaning rags around, which ain't nothing but t-shirt sleeves. Get your handy dandy cleaning kit. Get a brush out of it. The swatches out of it. And the oil that we're going to use is in the end is Otis CLP. It's normally pretty good. Uh, but for cleaning it wise, I'm going to use this CLP just because I have more of it. And we'll clean it with that and then we'll oil it down with the Otis afterwards. First thing I do, I take and wipe it down. Most everything, if you clean it regularly, most everything will wipe off with a rag or brush. not very hard or anything see it's coming clean pretty good because I keep it oiled down when I shoot it so it doesn't stick to it that bad some people have to have picks to scrape it all off if you're shooting it a whole 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 lot and get it real hot and cook all the oil off it's st everything sticks to it so you gotta have a pick to they, they don't stick to it it burns to it so you need a pick to uh, get it off See, that came pretty dang clean pretty fast. Pretty easy. And this here gets a little hotter, so. Spray her down. And we're just cleaning right now, so we ain't oiling for anything. We're just cleaning to get all this gunk off of it. So the oil just, that's clean. It's CLP is clean, lubricate, and preserve, or preservation. So, if you want to make your weapon last longer, you put this on. You clean with it and all that, and it helps out to make sure it gets all the lubrication it needs. And of course, I can get most everything with a t-shirt. There's a little carbon build up right here. And we'll, uh, we'll get that off. I don't know if my little, this brush will get it off or not. Don't look like it is. I don't know how to get a. You can use a scraper, you can use a blade, you can use different things. I'm going to use a pocket knife.
and you can see the carbon just scrapes off of it. If you, if you don't clean that off, eventually that'll stop the weapon from firing. You'll be in, it'll shoot like a single shot instead of a semi automatic. And if you got a semi automatic, you don't want to shoot it like a single shot. If that was the case, you would have bought a single shot, I hope. Well, spend all the money on a semi automatic if you're going to shoot a single shot. And it was just as simple as that. She's all shiny, no carbon buildup now. And for areas like that, nothing, oh, not a lot gets there. It gets some brass buildup from the brass casings, but not a lot. You always want to make sure, so your firing pin goes through here. You want to make sure that it can go out the end like it's supposed to because your shell seats right there and whenever you pull the trigger this here hits the front like that and you want to make sure that it can always get to the shell if it can't get to the shell it ain't gonna shoot unless you got magic that I don't have but I ain't got no magic if I had magic I'd make a lot of stuff happen I ain't got no magic around me all right And you'll clean it with one rag just because you see the rag has gotten dirty. I like to clean with one rag and once I get where I think I'm done with it, I'll wipe it back off with a cleaner rag so I can make sure that almost everything's off of it. And she looks pretty good. Alright, that part's done. I'll re the firing pin off from where we touched it with our nasty hands. That part's done. Now I gotta clean this little piece here. It's got a proper name for it. I just don't know it. So spray that down a little bit with some CLP. Rub it all over it. I don't really see any carbon buildup. Carbon buildup, you can if it's shiny, carbon buildup won't be shiny, it'll have more of a texture to it but it's good just to check if you do this every time you shoot it you shouldn't never have any issues these little pins believe it or not they get carbon build up on them if you don't clean them enough they do get blackened if they're silver they will get blackened it's just getting hot and all just make sure you clean everything off of them everything that'll come off anyway. This is your extractor. This is the piece with the little spring. I try to hold the spring. You can take it off. I don't plan on taking it off. I'd rather leave it on. Now, I know I clean it good so I do clean around it. And some of them don't have this little rubber washer around it. it mine came with it so I'm not taking it off to see if it does without it. This part here is probably the most tricky part because you got to get inside of it to make sure you get all the carbon out and all. So. I just rub it down very good with some CLP. And there's another part that you'll have to get. That's where your gas goes to push your... Uh, bolt back like I say got a fancy name for it but I don't know the fancy name for it right off the top of my head don't be scared to get your hands dirty you can feel stuff with your hands better than you can with a brush or anything and I'll take the cleaner rag and shove down in there and just get it in there good and tight and twist it around And that'll get anything out that's in there. Mm 
Phone's going off saying there's motion in front of the garage. Not the utmost hardest to clean. It's just a little tedious. Make sure you always clean every little hole. Now I've got mine a little over oily. I didn't have to do that, but it makes it easier to clean. You can see that goes up in there. And that's where this little pin goes into. And the best thing for getting in here is Q-tips. I didn't bring any out, so I'm gonna get one of these little swatches or cotton pad things out of here. Then we'll use a firing pin. And if it don't go all the way through it, then it helps. But I think it stabbed all the way through it. It says build up in there. So I'll need something other than this to do it. To poke it through. Something flatter on the tip. Without being so sharp. Not quite the diameter of it. And we'll make sure this don't go in the same hole. Hmm, that went through too. Probably push it further down in there now. Twist it around. Get the stuff out. Looks good. Now, wipe it off to get all the excess oil off. You don't need all this oil. Don't need all that extra. Now you got to reassemble it. So ultimately you got to put it back together exactly the way you pulled it apart. But you're going to put your extractor back on. And there's a little pin. There's no certain way it goes through. It just goes through. Make sure it's in each side because if not, your weapon won't shoot. Just make sure it's flush on each side. And you have that back together. Take and you it extracts to the right, so you make sure the extractor to the right, and then that hole in there lines up. Once that hole in there lines up, you don't drop it like me. It goes in. You're gonna have to twist it where it's rectangular, long ways like that. Not up and down it. Pull it forward. Drop your firing pin back in, and then slide that in. And that's your bolt carrier group, BCG, and the cleaning of it. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Country Fixing, and I hope you all have a great day.